Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my favorite type of video to film, which is an empties video. I think that's pretty obvious considering I have so many on my channel. But um, yeah, I have quite a few empties to get into, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off with hair empties. Uh, first things first, I have the Tresme Luxurious Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. I loved these. These are 44 fluid ounces, so 1.3 liters, and it lasted me an entire semester, and I never got sick of it. I really, really like this. I really like the way they made my... Mm. I really, really liked the way they made my hair feel, and usually when I use giant things like this, I get so sick of them, but I would totally repurchase these, and I really, really liked them. Next up, I have three of my Pantene Clarifying Shampoo. This is my favorite clarifying shampoo, obviously. It's in every one of the, these videos that I film. I love this. I don't get sick of it, and I definitely will be repurchasing these because I just, I can't live without it. Next up, we have the L'Oreal Paris Volume Filler Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. I really liked these. Um, I definitely would repurchase them, probably not in the near future, but at some point I definitely didn't hate these, so I'd repurchase. Next up, we have my Paul Mitchell Blonde Platinum Blonde Shampoo. I love this. I am a natural blonde, but I definitely think this takes out any kind of weird darkness in my hair that I get in the winter. I have gotten highlights before just because I had to counteract some lowlights that I put in my hair. That was a total mistake. But um, this definitely lightens up my, my hair so I don't have to get highlights in the winter, and I love that. Next, I have the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist. I love the way this smells. It smells like coconuts, and it's just like a tropical beach excursion in your shower, and I love that. Um, as far as it makes the way it makes my hair feel, um, it's not the best hair mask that I've ever used, but it's definitely pretty good for how much it is. Next up, I have three different scents, not flavors, of my Batiste Dry Shampoo. We have Floral Essences, the original and tropical. I did not like tropical for some reason. It smelled like B.O. to me and I mean I used it all up but it just was not my favorite. Original is pretty much my go-to just because it is probably one of my favorite scents. Um, it was my favorite scent until I had floral essences which is now I think my favorite. It's just very fresh and not it's not too perfumey like the other floral one. I didn't like that one because it's very perfumey, but these two are definitely my favorite scents. And lastly in the hair category, I have two of my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In products. I had one at home and one at school. This is my go-to hair product, like leave-in conditioner. Pretty much the only thing I put in my hair on a daily basis, and without it, I feel like my hair looks like crap. So I love this stuff. So next up, I have three of my Neutrogena makeup cleansing towelettes. I pretty much only use these as my makeup remover wipes. If you have recommendations, I'm kind of, I'm not getting sick of these, but I kind of want to try something different. So please comment down below. Uh, I like these, so tell me what you think I'd like. Next up, I have two of my St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrubs. Obviously, these are my go-to, but I am getting a tad sick of it. I think I might get the Blackhead Scrub again because I really liked that. I really love St. Ives Scrubs, uh, but also comment down below if you have any face scrub recommendations for me. Next up, a little random, but why not? I have the Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Moisturizing Vitamin E Shaving Cream. Um, this is fine. I feel like... All shaving cream is pretty much the same, but yeah, I used this up, so that was nice. Next up, I have three different Bath & Body Works shower gels. I have Japanese Cherry Blossom, Pink Chiffon, and Velvet Sugar. Um, I definitely would repurchase Pink Chiffon. I love this scent. I love this scent pretty much in everything Bath & Body Works does, but um, I would repurchase this. I probably wouldn't repurchase these because I felt like they got a little tiresome after a while, so... Yeah, I always buy Bath & Body Works shower gels, but I don't always repurchase the scents because I definitely get sick of them. You know, just jumping into dental care, I have two of the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothpaste. I'm getting very sick of this. I bought like a giant BJ's thing of them, but I'm getting so sick of them. Uh, the Brilliance is my favorite, uh, but these, they're okay. They're toothpaste. Going along with that, I have the Colgate Optic White. I did not like this. This, for some reason, made my mouth feel really dry and not very clean. Um, so I definitely won't be repurchasing this. 
Next up, I have two Secret Clear Gel Scent Expressions deodorants. I love this. The Clear Gel is my favorite. Um, the scent was fine. Um, I didn't get sick of it or anything. I currently use unscented ones, which I think I like the best, but these were definitely fine. Another shower gel. I have the Bath & Body Works Beautiful Day One. It's in little travel size. I loved this as well. I would definitely repurchase this scent. It is probably tied with Pink Chiffon as my favorite Bath & Body Works scent. And another shower gel. I have the Body Shop Frosted Plum Shower Gel. I really liked this. I'd never tried anything from the Body Shop before, but I got a little Christmas present from my friend Kelly that had a bunch of their products, and I actually really enjoyed this. Going along with that, I also received the Body Scrub and the Body Butter. Um, this was definitely my favorite thing in the set. I loved the scrub so much, so I think I'm going to definitely be repurchasing this. This was probably my second favorite thing in the set, the Body Butter. Um, I can't decide if I like the Bath and Body Works, the Soap and Glory, or this one better, so I think I'm gonna have to try them all again to figure that out, but this was really, really nice. In skincare, I have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. The first time I bought this was probably two or three years ago, and I absolutely loved it, and it really cleared my face up, but for some reason, this time, it just didn't do that much for me. The only reason I used it up was because I had a really bad sunburn, and this was pretty much the only thing gentle enough to use on my face and along with the Key West Aloe Gentle Aloe Facial Cleanser. Um, this has 30% aloe in it so it was really really nice when I had that sunburn just to really soothe my face and my chest and pretty much my entire body. I washed like my entire body in that fresh and in this just because it was the most gentle thing and it didn't irritate my skin anymore. Um, as far as repurchasing I probably wouldn't repur repurchase either of them just because they were good for the sunburn but I feel like I don't get a sunburn that much to like that be the only reason that I repurchase it. Next up we have the Malin and Goetz Grapefruit Face Cleanser. This stuff stunk. I did not like the way this smelled. This did not smell like grapefruit to me. It smelled like chemical and it just was gross and I don't think it did anything for my skin. So no thanks. Then I have the Borghese Active Mud for Face and Body. This was a mask. This dried up before I could really use it. That sounds bad, but I got like one or two uses out of it. It was fine. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it is very pricey and I don't think it's that worth it. Next up, I have the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Mud to Foam. Didn't love this. Um, it was really hard to rinse off and it just got everywhere because it's like a black mud and I don't know. I don't love the masks that much and I definitely didn't love this this much. Then we have a little Ren Glycol like Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. Um, I have another one that's slightly bigger than this. I like it. It's a mask. I don't know if it did like amazing things for my skin or anything, but it was too kind of tiny to tell. But maybe the bigger one will let me in and see if it helps my skin. Next up, we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Light. I really liked this, but I kind of got sick of it, so I probably won't be repurchasing it anytime soon. I might do the color correcting one because I've heard good things, but uh, probably not this one. Going along with Smash Smashbox primers, I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water in a little 100 point perk. I love this so much. I have just repurchased a full size. I loved this. It made my skin feel so nice. I would wear it on days I didn't even wear makeup and it just made my skin feel so just soft and pretty and oh my gosh, I loved this. Next up we have two of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistance. These are my everyday mascaras. I use this to seal every mascara that I use and I will always repurchase it because I have not found anything I like better than this. Going along with mascara, I have two of the sample size Benefit Roller Lashes. This was really good, but it definitely did not make me like it more than their real. Their real is still my go-to favorite mascara and these were definitely up there, but not my favorite. I also have the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. Didn't really like this that much. I don't think it did that much for my lashes, so I will not be purchasing this. Then I have the Their Royal Push-Up Liner by Benefit. I hated this so much. I don't even think this is used up. I just got so sick of it that I just had to toss it because I, I can't work with this. I just really, really hate it. It's just very clumpy. It really, it just, mm, no. Didn't like the format of it. It's just, no, not worth the hype that it had. Then I have the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. I really love this stuff. One of my favorite lip balms, and I definitely would purchase this again. 
Last but not least, I have a MAC uh, paint pot in vintage selection. This is not used up, but it is totally dried out and kind of unusable, so I'm just going to have to get rid of it. So yeah, those are all the products that I've used up lately, so please comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you again next time.